You either get it or you don't. Without further ado, I give you Showgirls! Am I just gonna watch this movie until I die? Absolutely no one under the age of 17 is allowed. I don't think they have an attractive star. They don't do anything original in the screenplay. I didn't care for the film. Lousy movie. Really lousy acting. It was a disaster. It's kind of raunchy. Very, very bad. Let me guess. Worst movie? Showgirls. Showgirls. You got it. <laughs> Good guess. Welcome to Vegas. I just got here. Okay, yes, it's a failed movie. Where are you from? But it adds up to something. Different places. A type of comedy I don't think you can make on purpose, which makes it very rare and valuable. I hadn't seen something so perfectly bad in years. It was done. Civilization had done its job. Showgirls is also signaling to fans of Paul Verhoeven that it's like his other films. People are much more inclined to think that it's nearly criminal to portray sex. Sexuality is part of our life, and we should not be afraid of it. I used to love Doggy Chow. I used to love Doggy Chow, too. You can't believe they're trying to sell us this. You never know what's going to become a cult film. For those of us that get it, it can become our religion. This is a role that does not come around that often. It's weird having that protagonist as a character that's so cathartic. I'm Nomi Malone. Nice dress. <laughs> Thanks to Versace. And the worst picture of the decade is Showgirl. I want to watch this thing over and over and over again. I think we're still talking about Showgirls because we're not done with it. The film that gets reclaimed as a stealth masterpiece. 